Zack, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. So, you're the talk of the town. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone always calls me. The name's Keith. A pleasure meeting you, York. Sure is a big scar. It's bigger than I thought it would be. So, Keith, I have a couple of questions about the incident. Huh? Sure, fire away, man. Did you know Anna Graham? Yeah, of course, man. Poor little Anna. She was such a nice girl. I mean, what kind of sicko would do that to her? Well, I'm here to catch that sicko. Listen, even the smallest piece of information might be useful to me. If there's anything you noticed or want to let me know, contact me. Okay, will do, bro. You got my cooperation, FBI. Another thing. I'll be frequenting your store during my stay here. So I'll see you around. <laughs> sure thing, bro. We got what you need. So drop in any time. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Lily Ingram. My husband owns a convenience store, and we have two sons. I like to think that I'm just a regular wife in a regular family. Aside from the point that our sons were the first witnesses to the crime scene. You seem pretty calm considering their involvement in such a big murder case. <laughs> you think so? I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, if I looked all bleak and gloomy, I think it would hurt our business. Uh... Agent Morgan, about that scar... Uh, Lily, please don't call me that. Call me York, if you can. People have been calling me York for a long time. You're a silly one. No, not at all. I'm just a regular special agent. <laughs> so what were you about to say, Lily? Huh? About my scar? Um, I'm sorry. I seem to have forgotten. It's because you said something silly. I see. Well, if you remember anything important, just let me know. I will. I'll probably be making use of your store during my stay here, so I'll see you from time to time. Okay, I'll see you soon then.
Hi there. You always look like a busybody. Is the job working you that hard? <laughs> it's not so bad, hon. I've gotten used to it now, really. You seem to be taking it easy. Sometimes it's important to take a laid-back approach. Pressing forward too quickly can be a recipe for disaster. <laughs> You're being silly. Oh, yeah. Hun, if you have time on your hands, can I ask you a favor? Such as? Nothing major. It's just our storage room is a total mess. Keith just makes it worse every time he tries to clean it up. And I can't move the heavy boxes in there. I used to ask my father to help us out, but... Well, he's not that young anymore. Of course, I'll give you something in return. If you tidy the place up, I'll give you this. What's that? A bronze card. It's a discount card for the milk barn. You'll be able to buy things cheaper with this. I think it'll help you lower your investigation expenses. So you're saying that helping you out will ultimately help the investigation. Zach, what do you think? I don't mind if you want to help her. Thank you, hon. The storage room is this way. Thank you, hon. You've been a big help. You're a real hero. A hero? You just can't leave those who need help alone, can you? I can tell you no, hon. You're that kind of guy. Anyway, here's your reward, hon. You've earned it. We'll give you a discount from your next purchase. Thank you, Lily. We'd better be careful not to get carried away and overspend, Zach. Agent York, you're a good person. My father doesn't seem to appreciate you yet, but I do. And I'm sure Keith and the boys feel the same. Come by any time, okay?
What's your name? I'm Gina. Folks call me the Rose. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. FBI? Wow, how cool. And, oh, I like that scar. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? Ugh, I hate that complex stuff. Let's have a more simple conversation. Simple? Yeah. Do you want gas or not? Hmm. Uh-huh. This makes it your sixth time. <laughs> to thank you for being one of our best customers. Today, you get the special service. Here we go. <laughs> Washing time is fun. Shiny. Mm, looks pretty. <laughs> okay. Ooh, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Come again. I'll give you the special service every time from now on. See ya! Zack, that was some aggressive car washing. She's crazy. Like a cat in heat. You may have liked it, but I never want to go through that again.
You from out of town? I ain't seen you here before. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up! At least give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. <laughs> Shut it! If you're a customer, act like one and shut the mouth. Huh? <laughs> Jack, here's the Ben Franklin you wanted. Give it to me. Benjamin, I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? I'll tell you another one when I see you again. <laughs> Zach, did you see that? It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you?
thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next, and finally I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie, but I've put a lot of thought into this, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975, directed by Steven Spielberg himself, the grandfather of panning movies, set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah? It's Jaws. The underwater camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg, the second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. So the scene where Jaws appears is right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words, Jaws Part 19. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies. It was still a great joke. 30 years from 1985 would be 2015. We'll be there pretty soon. I wonder what life would be like by then, Zach. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. Olivia. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? 
You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Uh-huh. That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. Right, Zach? Um, sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh, okay. So, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here with us, so happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I, we were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. If you remember anything else, let me know.
Zack, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Anna, where are you going? Don't leave me. You there. Do you know where Anna is? Anna, my dear Anna. Zack, let's do this later. I don't think we'll get anything out of her like this. I'd like to ask you some questions about Anna. Anna? Oh, why did she have to die? She was so happy, so full of life. 
Anna, she loved that dress in the picture so much. She looked so pretty in it, but now she won't be able to wear it again. Yes, that dress. I can't find that dress anywhere. That dress? Her dress. Where is it? Without it, I... She looked so pretty when she wore it for prom. She was the prettiest girl in town that night. So why did she... Where's that dress? Where? <laughs> I don't think we'll get much more out of her like this. Maybe if we find the dress and bring it to her, she'll calm down enough to talk. Look, Zack. It's a picture taken during her prom night. There are no other pictures of Anna in a dress. This blue dress here, then, must be the one Sally is looking for. She does look like a goddess. Sally was right. She sure is pretty. That smile would make any man turn to butter. Zack, this is it. This is the same dress as the one in the prom picture. Let's take it to Sally. This is it! The dress! This is Anna's dress! Ha! Ha! Anna! Oh! Anna! <laughs> Anna! <laughs> Sally, we found the dress. So please tell me more about Anna. Oh. She was such a good girl. She was the most beautiful girl in town. With pretty blonde hair. Everyone around her just loved her. On the night of the murder, was Anna at home? Yes, I, I think so. You think so? Uh, that day, the day she died, I stayed over at a friend's place. If only I'd been here, Anna might not have gone through... Where did you stay that night? Uh, well, well, uh, I was... Aha. Uh... Uh -huh. So, in other words, you have no idea what Anna was up to that night. That's wrong! She wasn't the kind of girl that would walk around at night. She was always dancing, dancing under the sun. Yes, under the pouring sunshine, like this. Zack, look. A key fell from Anna's dress. Maybe we can use this to get into Anna's room. Sorry, Sally, but we're going to have to take a look in there.
She was at an age that craves excitement. Doesn't matter what town you're from. Girls will be girls. You know, Zack, in this wonderful country of ours, there are no good old-fashioned towns left. None at all. Day one. Today is the day of the ceremony, and I'm a little nervous about it. Day two. The first time he used it on me, it was so amazing, so exhilarating. Day three. He doesn't let anything slip. I'm really worried about Becky. Day four. Delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. So that's the last page written. It's very interesting. You can learn a lot from a diary. So we have this unnamed he, Becky. And this delivery man, Q. Zack, this could be more interesting than I thought.
Where shall we go next? Is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? I've got nothing to say. Maybe this will change your mind. And that's... Anna's diary. <sighs> Let me read you a part that I find very interesting. Dear diary, Today's the day of the ceremony, and I'm a little nervous about it. Any idea what this ceremony is? No idea. Okay. What about these, then? He doesn't let anything slip. I'm really worried about Becky. Delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. Your name twice. An unnamed he, and then this delivery man Q. You don't want to talk? 
Or are you too scared to talk? Stupid cops. Just leave me alone! Zack, this is a problem. How can we get her to open up? Maybe we should start with the easy one and look into Delivery Man Q. So, where shall we go next? <laughs> <laughs> 